Are you guys being good puppies? Don't pay attention to any of that over there. We don't have a dog bin with 50,000 toys in it. For you guys, huh, Bobby? You cute puppy, Bobby. Madison? Winston, but we usually just call her Bubs. Bubby or Bubs. She loves that name. Oh, you'd be so fucking cute. Huh? Yeah, you guys are crazy. Matt, do you want to tell him that we're going to begin the video now? No? Okay, well, we're going to begin the video now, whether you like it or not. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is my neighbor's house. And that, that you hear? Hold on. Yep, that is one pissed off bird. So the neighbors have a huge macaw and it gets pissed when its owner leaves. And that is what I have to deal with every time I'm out here trying to record a video. <laughs> but yeah, guys, the weather is amazing. I feel amazing. Uh, the only thing that really sucks is that COVID-19 has knocked out pretty much anything besides an essential business, which means uh, you can have takeout, you can go to the grocery store, pharmacies, and I'm pretty sure it's like that in a lot of places, but the entire West Coast um, is pretty much getting shut down. Uh, California went into a 14 day mandatory stay home if you don't have to leave the house. So I'm pretty sure that's coming for Washington, Oregon too, because everything that happens in Washington, Oregon and, or everything that happens, sorry, everything that happens in California, Washington and Oregon just follow suit. So I'm assuming that a 14 day or however long stay home is going to be implemented for Washington as well. Pretty shitty though, like we got all this great weather. I can only imagine what it's like down in Pomona, California right now. Today is the 21st of March and it was supposed to be Spring Fest. That's why I was getting everything ready. But you know, you gotta roll with the punches because of COVID, everything has been canceled this year. Car season is basically canceled. So <laughs> pretty shitty time for it to be canceled because we have some great weather and I would love to get this car out to some shows and start winning some awards because that's what's, that's what's on the plan. That's what's on the menu, the agenda for this year. That's what we were going to do. But you got to roll with the punches, guys. This damn bird is still going at it. Dude, come on, guy. But like I said, you got to roll with the punches. Good thing is, though, the car is almost completely done. We just got to put in the seats. I have one seat in, and I'll show you exactly why we don't have two seats in in just a second. But um, we're going to open up the garage now and we're going to show you every single thing that has been done to do the transformation, the sex gender transformation of my car used to be a female, used to be a she used to be Artemis. Now it is Terminator and you'll see why in just a few minutes, I'm going to open this garage up and you guys are going to see the beauty that has been done. Well, I mean, if you are on my Instagram at DG Prods, you already know, but we're gonna go into an in-depth detail because I've been getting a lot of questions about the splitter and the rear diffuser and the rear spoiler. So you guys are gonna get all that information. Let's go ahead, open the garage and show you guys exactly what it looks like now. All right, guys, here's Terminator, the brand new attack helicopter six changed from Artemis. Uh, I just got to show you this real quick. <laughs> Yo, can I get any clearance? Can I, can I, can I get any clearance though? Like there is nothing I can do more right here. I can't even fit my fingertip underneath that. <laughs> so yeah, you guys see why I needed bags, right? It's exactly why I needed bags, but look at this. We have a Anderson's composite Hellcat hood here, glimmering in the sun, looking beautiful. And then we got the APR lip down here, which is pretty much screaming at me right now. 
and we matched up the splitter rods with the same color that is in the accents of the the wheel wells so yeah looks really nice and then we come around to the side of the car here and you can see the side skirts that are also from apr performance dude the quality on these parts are insane I cannot stress enough how beautiful these side skirts are. And then let's come around to the back. See, these are the, the accents I was talking about right here. My calipers and the wheel wells inside have that gold color, gold bronze accent. <clears throat> and then we come around to the back and we have the, we have the rear diffuser, which is also APR. I've been getting a lot of questions on this piece and the rear spoiler right here, which is also APR performance. And I'll tell you what, if you want two pieces that are going to take your car from stock to race car look, this is it. Plus these are actually built to perform on a racetrack. So I had three different companies to pick from with the splitter and the diffuser. I had ZL1 add-ons, I had downforce solutions or APR performance. And I just felt like APR performance had some really great parts. Plus I was going with the carbon fiber look. And I mean, as you can see guys, these parts don't lie. Look at how gorgeous that is straight up. Like <laughs> you can't beat carbon fiber. Plus these parts are super light. Like I could pick them up with literally a finger. It's insane. Just look at the quality. Like, you cannot beat these. You can't. We get so many questions on these, it's insane. APR performance if you want great parts. I'm not knocking the other, the other companies, but I just feel like these are the best bang for your buck, and they're gorgeous pieces. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I got these on uh, Amazon, which are pretty cool. They look pretty decent i would say and they also make it so that your tail lights don't look like they're misaligned because you can put these on and make it look completely straight see how that is that tail light's actually taller on i think that side maybe i don't remember but i fixed it with those <laughs> conceal so yeah lines up perfectly looks really good i like the carbon fiber grain in it let's head around to the front because i got a few more things to show you that i picked up off of amazon so we got these, these uh, covers right here. They go around the headlights, pretty nice. And then we got the bezels that also go right here, which look really good as well. Really hard to tell that it's not actual carbon fiber too. Unless you get like right up on it and inspect it, you're not gonna know any different. I mean, we have the hood here and then we have those and it's really hard to tell that it's not real carbon fiber. Plus it looks great in photos and it comes up really well on camera. I'm not kidding when I say this lip is screaming at me. <laughs> that thing is on the ground right now. Absolutely insane. And a lot of people wanted to know about gaps. Dude, it looks really good. Lines up all the way. This is really good too. Comes in very flush. And then we have the other gap on this side. Also looks really good all the way up. And it just shines, I'll tell you what, it shines. Looks really damn good. And of course we cannot forget our sponsors, Rohana and Brom. Thanks guys, appreciate you guys for showing the love, showing the love. Although I do wish that APR would have sponsored me for this build, it would have made it a hell of a lot cheaper. Thanks guys. <laughs> And don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want all the dopest, latest content. Super fire coming on out. All right, now let's go ahead and show you guys why we only have one seat installed. First of all, God damn, those look good. Look at that shit. Yo, you come up to this and you're like, what? The carbon fiber stitching on the sides. And then we got all the embroidery. Dude, tell you what, man, these seats are dope as hell i'm in love like look at the difference between the seats there is no comparison between these and those <laughs> but yeah now i'm gonna get in i'm gonna show you why uh there's only one seat installed so let's just hop on in here oh. 
All right, so here's the seats, right? They look super chill, super dope, super lit, super fire. Um, but there's one problem. Let me show you what it is. <clears throat> so if I close the door here, <clears throat> let me give a better view here. So if I close the door and I sit normally, this is my view. Now, imagine somebody who's 5'5 five five or 5 foot sitting in here and has a eye level of like right here. <laughs> you can't see anything. You need a booster seat to come up. So yeah, I'm 6'2 and I still, this is, this is literally my eye view right here. It's not, it's no bueno. Plus we are at an angle. So if you raise the car up, you're going to have less of a view. So I will say though, these seats feel really damn good in the car. They support you really well. And the adjustment over here, the lever, you know, it feels like butter. Like you don't even have to really try to adjust yourself. You can just adjust wherever you want and really damn good seats, bro. You did a really good job on these things. Like, <laughs> wow. They look really good for one. They are custom tailored to my personal preferences, which I really love. They're bespoke. Uh, team is great and I have <laughs> I can't really say anything more about it it's just an awesome product and I will be taking you through a tutorial on how to install these seats so stay tuned for that that's going to be uh, an upcoming video I'll probably make it next weekend and then I'll post it either Sunday or Monday so stay tuned for that and I'm going to be coming out with a few videos of like mods like beginner mods intermediate mods and like car show slash performance mods maybe three videos with that so look forward to those as well and uh probably be going over a video of how much everything has cost on my car so far to this point and just highlighting some other stuff in other videos coming up but yeah this is how they're gonna look except for raised up uh just a couple more inches and it's going to look damn good and then i'm gonna get something done to the back do the rear seat delete and get rid of those other seats in the back i'm selling the entire set of seats for 900 dollars. so if you're in the local area and you want a set of houndstooth scott pack seats front and back in really good condition hit me up i might even do a better deal for a subscriber so hit me up or uh just message me on instagram dg prods and uh, we'll go from there and of course, we've got an awesome list. We have to give credit where credit is due of companies and sponsors who have been involved in this build to show you everything that you've seen in this video today. We've got my guys, Ryan and Clay up here at Unruly Speed Custom. Awesome guys. They know pretty much everything that comes to cars and they've been in the business for a very long time. So hit them up if you need anything in the Portland and Vancouver area or come out of state or come out of city, whatever. Whatever you guys want to do, they are great guys and they will hook you up. AccuAir for providing the E-level system that is on my car with the bag. Um, we've got Anderson Composites with the beautiful hood that is on my car. We've got APR Performance with every single other carbon fiber piece that is on this car right now. And we've got Rohana Wheels with the awesome RFX 11 20 by 10 20 by 11 stance on this car with a 28 offset. And we have Brom with the badass but bespoke seats that are in my car right now. All right, I've got one more thing to show you guys before we close out this video. Are you guys ready to see this? On the car? <laughs> All right, let's put it in real quick and I'll show you guys exactly what it looks like and what it does. So here's why we named this Terminator. So this is a custom hood prop made by Grocery Getter Racing. Super sick. His work has gotten so much better. I don't know if you could tell or not, but the eyes are actually glowing red. And those are made by these back here. So he's got a custom little rig here, which makes the eyes red with a nice little mesh in the front. So just imagine like overcast car shows or parking garages or, you know, night shows or night videography. It's going to look really damn menacing with the eyes glowing red. And then if you guys haven't seen my engine bay, we have just a little, some little custom accents that are going on here. Um, I don't really care for this in particularly. I think I'm going to change that out to destroy gray, all of it. And then this color. Um, on these pieces right here. So yeah, we've got the um, oil catch can, same color, fuel rail covers all over there, same colors and everything. And then we've got the coolant container over here painted to get rid of that nasty white that, uh, you know, stains and looks terrible. And we've got a little window that we cut out over here to make it so that you can still see your, your levels of fluid. And then we've got a GT Momentum cold air intake. And Grocery Getter Racing also made this. There's going to be some letters up there in the same color as this. Uh, it's going to say Terminator, so it's going to look really cool. 
really damn cool. All right, guys, that is going to close out this video. I hope you guys enjoyed everything that you saw on my 2017 Dodge Challenger Scat Pack. Can you guys believe that this thing is only three years old and has 70,000 miles on it? I've been driving the absolute crap out of it, and in the condition that it's still in is pretty damn crazy. All right, guys, if you liked what you saw in this video, please think about hitting that like button because it really helps out the channel. It helps the videos get into the algorithm so that more people can see the videos and also enjoy this eye candy that you're seeing currently right now on your screens. And if you haven't already and you're coming here for the first time or you've been here a few times and you haven't hit that subscribe button, why the hell not? Go ahead and think about hitting it right now and hit that notification bell as well so you guys can be notified when I make videos and they pop into your little notification section and then you guys can be like noty squad and you guys can comment some cool shit down below and i can comment and read it and we can all have a conversation i love that us youtubers have to make those damn things like we have to tell you guys to do it because if you don't get told you're not gonna do it <laughs> it's so funny that they've made it so hard for people to like just get their content out there. There's algorithm and all this crazy shit. Like, just do it, please. Just hit the subscribe button. Just hit it. Just hit the notification bell. Just hit the like button. Hit it. I've done all this stuff to my car. You better do it right now. <laughs> but in all serious, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, everybody.